Talking to roll up that's a natural flat mama to the
did a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to tighten the plan. Yeah, I got it right in the end. Ay. Now we on top, top once again. I don't want it if it ain't love. If it ain't get it away from me. Who you gon' jack if it ain't us? LABB to the bakery. Some mad that I came up. I know my granny gon' pray for me. It was just us in the vacancy. We had to get it from A to B. Wheels never felt like this. Two seats in the hills, how I feel righteous. Blue sheets for the mills, but the deal priceless. New keys can't care what's built private. I might just double it up, did it. Mm. Never enough, I'm with it. Uh. Five, two, three on the business. Whole team got wins in the world suspending. I told them. What I told them. We did a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah. Hey. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on top. Got a spot and it's slot to the click all in. I got ops. If he drop, I just hit my dance. I was top. They just watched. Had to take my wins. They wouldn't let me in. I've been on 10, 10 cents. Who really holding it down? I've been holding it down and I go it again and again. Who was the dummy that died? I'm the coldest of but he falling again and again. I'm in the what? I'm in the day. I'm doing 30 on 30 and up. You in the butt, you in the way. Either you rolling or rolling the dust. You with us or what? Keep it running. We did a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top yeah. once again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on top, top once again. We did a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on the 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah. Hey. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on 10, 10, 10. One of the great venues to watch a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport, Soldier Field in Chicago. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Cleveland Browns and the Chicago Bears. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Play action. They'll throw. And he completes it to Cohen. He'll have a first down past the 40. And finally down at the 32-yard line. A huge play there right off the bat. 43 yards. Well, Park, it's pretty simple. One thing you don't want to see defensively on the very first snap of the game, some guy running free like we just saw there. Heck of a start for this offense, no doubt. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He'll drop this one down to Cohen. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Right back to him for 10 more and a first. So the same tandem connecting on back-to-back -back throws to start the game. And maybe throwing the scouting report off just a little bit. That's not exactly what they think is going to be their number one receiver, but he's producing already early in this game. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Tariq Cohen, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bears take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Chase McLaughlin set to kick off. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds, so really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Now a handoff here to his running back. The all-pro in two positions. Khalil Mack there to make the stop. 
taken down. That's Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. He was looking for Odell back in that time, and it's third down. Back to throw. Vernon. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. Going to get this one down near the 45 yard line. Big Eddie Goldman there on the tackle. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. Fourth down, Vernon. And it's complete, Hooper. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That one good for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. First down. On first down, Vernon. Eluding the pressure right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. They run the counter. Oh, and he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Brings up fourth down, solid coverage by the Bears' D. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. But that doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. It looked good when it left his foot, but he kind of sliced it a little bit, and he winds up missing it wide right. Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Darnell Mooney, the target there. But just a simple tap pass, but it, it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. Now this throw caught left side. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. 
How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. They'll look to throw now on first down. Flushed out right. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Mac Wilson. He had to drop him behind the line for a loss of a yard. At the 11-yard line. After the sack here, second and 11. Now with shotgun handoff to Cohen. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Tariq Cohen with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Bears will add on to their lead. For the two-point conversion. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The score bears well. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. At their own 21-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. On first and ten, Vernon. And his throw here is incomplete. The Pro Bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. It's a gain of a yard. And it's third. 12-0 the score after one on EA Sports. With the score, Bears 12, Browns nothing. Browns on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Operating from the gun. Vernon. And a throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Looks like a second empty possession to start the game. And certainly not the way you want to start when you come in off of a loss last week. Every team talks about starting fast. They're hoping on their next possession, it can be a delayed fast start and get them going. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears' offense. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there, and now it's second down. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is 
understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again here on second down, this time complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Oh, bananas Miller, he's got it. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The defense surrenders a 13-yard pass play there on third and one. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Down the numbers, there he goes. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. They'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal at the Bears' three-yard line. They'll try to run this one in. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Browns are back with it a score. The point after. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? A five-point game now as here comes the kickoff. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Give him seven on the tuck and run and it'll get him a new set of downs. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball in the coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. We're on 25 yards that time. The last drive he threw the pick, but he's not shy. He's going downfield again there. And you can't be, because if you back off after throwing an interception, your whole game plan just goes right out the window, and it makes things easier for a defense. And you and I both know there's no quarterback in this league that's any good that doesn't throw an interception occasionally, and they usually bounce back in a big way. I've seen guys throw five and still find a way to win the game in the end. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Switch up, switch up. 
And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Makes it. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Back to throw again. And he's got Miller. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it. Because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. you got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up. And then some on second and 13. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. The reception good for seven. It's third down. it's third down. From the gun, Vernon. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here's Jamie Gillen now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. It's just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. And the Bears take over. Bears take over first and 10 at their own 45-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny Unitas? And no, not, not quite of that level and not of that age. But I remember I was going for the age. I remember looking over at it, and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? It's because he had enough confidence in himself that uh, that was a fluke and he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. So his struggle is just continuing here in the first half, throwing the football. Charles now three interceptions. And they don't feel like they're just great plays by the defense. There's a sense that maybe he's a little careless with the football now. So some of the great coaches in the past, you know, they've always said, I can't teach you, obviously, because you're not listening. So maybe the bench can teach you. He's got to be careful now. He might get pulled. Operating from the gun. Vernon and finding the tight end Hooper and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40 first play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down escaping the pressure right they'll tussle for it and this is going to be caught and he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line a good gain again that's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays off the play fake Vernon 
And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. From the 21, it's second and 10. They run the counter. It's Shepard. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Third down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. They run the counter. Shepard. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. It's a gain of a yard and it'll set up second and goal. They run the counter. Shepard. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Odell Beckham in the final seconds of the first half. And the Browns have taken the lead. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one. Go to the locker room, start over. Chase McLaughlin set to kick off. The Browns are going to get the second half kickoff, and they've got this lead as well as we are back and underway. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. Vernon. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. They run the counter. It's Shepard, and he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line.
from the gun. He'll hand this off. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring out the third down. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. From the gun on third down, Vernon. Yeah. A quick throw here, that's complete. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. Again, it'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Now a give right side. It's ball. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. Pardon if you want more carries. I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 35-yard line. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. They run again with Hunt. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Touchdown. Kareem Hunt, his second touchdown on the season. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And the lead is up to eight. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick. And it's third down. And eight yards to go. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. Boy, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly is, and probably way too much. Because now, he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game, go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and goal at the Bears' eight-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. 
Ball. And once again, he's going to be stopped up behind the line. Second straight play. Shades of the 85 Bear defense a little bit. And now third and goal coming up. The loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder. And they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. And they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can. But this is third and goal. From the gun, Vernon. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off down near the five. It's a foot race. The 40. He's at the 30. Pass the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. A big play there by the rookie. An interception followed by the return for six points. If you want to be accepted by your teammates and coaching staff, make plays like that. Throws right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. Fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. And this will make it into the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And their own 22-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Ooh, the juke. He'll have a first down past the 40. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. 27 yards there, a first down. But when you're able to break a run against a cover two or two deep zone, safeties are back a little ways. What you're counting on is the guy's taking care of business up front and then maybe climbing to the second level, that offensive lineman or tight end getting up. To there he goes, right side. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Kareem Hunt, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Browns have moved out in front. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Back to throw now on first down. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big gainer there on the catch and run. 37 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just help receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 23-yard line. Now a dump off here complete, and he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now at Soldier Field. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. 
So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Give him seven on the play. And that's going to make it third down and 10. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And he'll be stopped shy of the 15 at the 14-yard line on the return. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. Ball. Four yards on the pick up there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. A tight game like this. Such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball and try to move forward. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Number eight. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. First down, Browns. They'll run on first down. It's Shepard, and he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They'll keep it on the ground. Shepard. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to... And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And this is picked up by the Bears. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field, and they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. That catch good for only a couple. Flush to his right. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Tariq Cohen out of the backfield. And it's third down. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Miles Garrett make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
three yards. Those INTs all sting, but you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Mm -hmm. Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you're giving up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. job to break free of one tackle but it slowed his momentum somewhat and he's taken down right after two yards the gain on the keeper and it's second down on second down it's ball and he's brought down but not before they get it across the 20 yard line that one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. Ball, and he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. From the 25, here's second and six. some clock here as they keep it on the ground and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. now the bears going to call the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down keep it on the ground now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next no gain on the play it's now fourth down and here's a big one now try to hold this lead they're going to go for it here on fourth down operating from the gun Vernon, that's to his running back, complete. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. A big play there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Browns add on to their lead. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route, worked out pretty well. It was like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions like that? What a lot of offenses say, touchdown to check down. Look downfield first, bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Not easy for a rookie to do. Oftentimes they get one look, and they make their decision off of that. He went through three. That was impressive. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. 25-yard line. the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense and they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone costly 
bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Today's final score. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So for the Browns, it's a win that might keep them alive in the playoff race as they're back to 500 at 5-5. Five and five. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. Meanwhile, for Chicago, add one more loss to the column. That drops them to a woeful 1-9 and nine so far. And they'll have a quick turnaround as they're back in action Thursday at noon Eastern for the traditional Thanksgiving Day game in Detroit. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Hey, I remember sleeping with my ribs touch. I remember sleeping.